Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Wrath of the Righteous. This is... No. Yeah, no, that's right. I always get it mixed up with Wrath of the Rune Lords, because that's the other one I've played tons of. But, uh... Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I need to sleep, man. What am I doing? This hobby, it's crazy. It's a crazy hobby, and I hope people enjoy it. Because <laughs> sometimes I wonder, why? Why, oh why? Anyway, the point is, it's deck editing time, baby. And we have done all our preliminaries, and this is the deck editing video. So let's uh, get straight on to it. This is sort of a recorded later intro, so we're going to jump right back in when I stop talking. Okay, so I'm saved and ready to go. So this is now the point where we're going to start editing our decks. So the way it works is, uh, it's sort of copied over these just for reference, but we have our card limits. You can only have that many cards in the deck and of those types. And we've also got our basic skills just so we can keep an eye on the basics information we need for our characters. Okay, so let's first have a look at our cards. So what the deck editor does, it just sort of chucks everything on the table and it arranges it. So everything's in alphabetical order and all the non-basic cards are on a separate row to the basics, okay? And that way you can just get a, a little idea of which cards are more valuable than others. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just one more thing, which actually I forgot about, is when we completed the godless ones, each character draws a random blessing that has the corrupted trait from the box. So we'll just uh, do that. So we're looking for the corrupted trait. It's got to be some in here somewhere. There's one. So we need six of these. And that's the last one. And of course, we don't have access to this guy because he was the cohort for Balazar. Okay, so this is our current card pool that we have to work with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just do the blessings, because that's the easiest. This guy gets four blessings, while well, they get cohorts as well, so we'll just give them the cohorts. She gets learn, he gets dovan, and now we do blessings. So she gets four blessings. He gets three, four, four, six, and four. So let's have a quick look at these corrupted blessings. The start is we know that uh, Kara gets this special blessing, which uh, is her iconic hero blessing. So what have we got here? We have blessing of Abarix. Discard this card to add two dice to any arcane or divine check. Okay. Discard this card to add two dice to any check attempting during the first exploration of a turn. This is really strong. Any exploration. And we have three of them. And Blessing of Shark. Discard to add two dice to any combat strength or dexterity. So, basically... Alan, Crow, and Sheila are going to be at the front lines, going to our heavy monster zones, just like crushing skulls. So I think they probably want to go with these. So we'll give him one. We'll give him one. We'll give her one. And I'll give him another one. Now, she has that corrupted thing, but remember, it's when you acquire a boon that has a corrupted trait. She can actually still use corrupted cards if they're inside her deck. So, even though this is corrupted, and it, basically the, the way the corrupted works for the blessings is slightly different each, with each blessing. Okay, so for this one, this one doesn't allow you to uh, explore unless the top card of the discard pile is corrupted. This one here makes you discard cards if you want to use it. So it's a mixed blessing. Okay. 
So we have two more of these things. This allows you to arcane a divine check. We'll put an arcane here. We'll put a divine here. And we'll put a divine here. And now everything else is just the standard blessing. So she gets four. She has one. So she gets another three. She, he has two. He gets three. So he just gets one extra. She gets four. She has one. So she has another three. She gets four. She gets six. One, two, three, four, five. And she gets four. She's already got two. Okay, we'll just check that. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so next we're going to do weapons. So for starters, okay, so basically there was an error in my last mod that where these cards came from. This is actually a weapon, even though it says it's tagged wrong, which is why it's going to the wrong spot. I'll just quickly fix that tag. This has been fixed in the, the new mod, but I'll have to just, boom, okay. Anyway, so he definitely gets that because it's his iconic weapon. She gets that because it's her iconic weapon. I'm going to have to basically rebuild this card because it's just so badly done. Okay, so what else have we got here? We have the Sword Breaker, which has an evade on it. Discard this card to evade a monster. So I'm going to give that to our... Oops. I'm going to give that to our uh, healer. I'm also going to give her a mace. Now we're going, let's have a quick look at the basic cards. Okay, so this is all the basic cards that are left in the set. Okay, we're just looking at weapons. Okay, this is an interesting one. It's got a bludgeoning trait. We, there is a giant cockroach that gets hit by that. So this is basically dexterity range plus 2d4s and then the option of getting another 2d4s I, I quite like that let's give that to our range character how many weapons does she get three is this one-handed yeah this is bow range piercing doesn't say it's one-handed two-handed so we'll give her the hand crossbow as well so that's her three weapons already. Okay, so this guy, he gets four weapons. I'm gonna give him a long sword. I'm gonna give him a mace. And I'm gonna give him a improvised dinosaur. Uh, he gets four. I'll give him a heavy pick. Anything. What we're looking for here is one-handed weapons for him. There's another mace. What are these things? Sickles. These are 1d6s as well. We'll give her a sword. We'll give her a... Uh, heavy pick it's a d8 and a d8 a d8 do we have another mace in the works I think we have one more mace there we are bam a 
Okay. And we'll finish up with one sickle. Uh, one sickle each. We'll give them one sickle each. That basically gives them bludgeoning, slashing, and uh, I think that's what it gives them. That's all it gives them, right? Piercing. Slashing, bludgeoning, slashing. We don't have a piercing. We don't have a one-handed piercing. Yes, we do. The heavy pick is one-handed piercing. Okay, so let's get rid of the sickles. Okay, so they've got a four weapons, four weapons, four weapons, four weapons, two weapons, two weapons. She has no weapons and he has another five weapons. So basically I'm going to give him two handed weapons. So we're going to go long spear, long spear, quarter staff. Uh, that's a D6. Do we have any other javelin? 2d6s that uses dexterity ranged yeah, another long spear and quarter stuff okay so that is all our weapons done we have three three weapons Four weapons, four weapons, six weapons. Oh, we've got six weapons. We only want. We only want five. Five weapons, no weapons, two weapons, two weapons, four weapons, four weapons. Okay. Now we're doing armors. Okay, so basically with the armors, we have heavy armors for Alan. Heavy armors for Sheila, heavy armors for Kyra, and everyone else is light except for Honora, who has no armor of any sort. Okay, so let's do the heavy armors first. Start, we'll give him the full plate. We'll give her the magic padded. We'll give her the paladin helm, which is her iconic thing. And we'll give him the magic shield. Oh, wait. We'll give her the magic scale out from armor. So. They've all got a heavy plate each. And now he's using one-handed weapons. She's using one-handed weapons and she's using one-handed weapons. So they can all use shields basically. So even though she's using a bow, it's not two-handed. Even this one's not two-handed, which is weird. Which means that she can still use wooden shields and stuff like that. So, she has two armor. So I'm going to get... The helm allows you to recharge one. The shield allows you to recharge for two. So we'll give her the shield. She's already got the helm, so we'll give her the sh magic shield to go with her magic helm and her magic armor. So she's got a full magic set, nice. And we'll give her him uh, armor and a helm because he has three armor and she has three armor. Okay, so that's the heavy armor done. Okay, so stalking armor is probably my favorite armor for the lights in the basics because it adds to stealth and perception checks as well as do doing a recharge of two. Okay, so this one recharges one, this one recharges one, this one recharges two, this one recharges two. That's a heavy though. 
But this one is a basic, it's light, and it recharges too, plus it helps with the thing. So we're going to give one to her, and there's a whole bunch of these in here. Bam. Now she is, doesn't, she can't take any armor at all. Now he is also, uh, he's also using two-handed weapons, so I'm going to give him two of these. And she gets a shield. Well, she only gets one armor. Okay, so that's the armor done. We have one armor, one armor. We have three armor, three armor, two armor, two armor. No armor, no armor, two armor, two armor, three armor, three armor. Okay, next is spells. Let's do spells. Spells is going to take forever. For starters, we are looking for, looks like there's a slight problem with our, that should, is that, yeah, it says basic. Yeah, slight problem with our the deck building, there shouldn't be anything here. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Still beta, still beta. These spaces shouldn't be here when there's no cards. Whatevs, man. Okay, for starters, fiery glare. Bam. Remember, we're looking for fire attacks to deal with those trees. We definitely want to give a uh, cure. Where's the cure? Do we not have a cure? Yeah, two cures. Definitely need a cure for you. Burst bonds. I'm going to give that to you. Uh, Maybe I'll give you a cure. Burst Bonds allows you to avoid an obstacle, basically evade a barrier. How many spells does she get? She gets two spells. I like Enchanted Fang for her. It's a Divine 7 to recharge. She has 8 plus 1, so she basically has to roll a 6 off an 8. Not too bad. We do have Fire Blade, which is a fire attack for divine people. So I'm going to give her one. And there should be a bunch of these in here. There's one more. So I'm going to give that to you. I thought there, I thought there was three Fire Blades in, this, in the deck. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually give it to her. And I'm also going to give her the bur uh, the burst bonds. I'll give her a second cure. And for her other divine spell, I guess I'll give her. I'll give her the enchanted fang. Why not? Maybe I should do detect demon. Yeah, I'll give it Detect Demon. So she gets two spells, two spells. He gets no spells. He gets two spells as well. He also, he doesn't have any kind of... Okay, so he's interesting. He doesn't have with the Divine or Arcane. Okay, he can gain Arcane through uh, leveling up. But that means his spells are basically useless unless you want to banish them, except they can be used to bury for the D10s. Which means that he can kind of be a storage location. So I think I will give him the Enchanted Fang. Actually, I'll give him the Detect Demons And I'll give him 
on agility. Okay, so that's everybody's spells done. Uh, she gets one more spell? No. It's one spell. Okay. Except this girl needs another five spells. So, again, looking at our monsters, there's a couple of things we're looking for. We're looking for fire traits. Demon. We're looking for fire trait. Okay, it's immune to mental and poison. And this one is immune to electricity and poison. So electricity, mental and poison are low priority. So anything besides them. Dazzle is mental. Lightning is electricity. Viper is poison, but we do have force and frigid blast. So that is another four. Five, six. So six attack spells and she gets six spells. Okay, so that's the spells done. Uh, okay, so that's two, two. No spells. Two, two. Six, six. Three, three. And one. Okay, so all I need to do now is the items and the allies. Okay, so we've got a couple of fancy items here. We have Anora gets her iconic card. I'm going to give the Raven to uh, Crow. I think Crow's the one with the most weapons, right? Yeah, he's got five weapons. And I've got this explodey thing here. <laughs> I don't know who to give that to. I'll give that to... Uh, how many items does she get? She only gets one item, so she has to take uh, the Holy Water. This basically means that she can use the Divine trait on the Holy Water to do heals from. She gets one item... As well okay so who's got good constitution I've, I've put these up here now don't I so constitution 6 constitution 8 fortitude 6 2 okay so we'll give her a blood pit we'll give him a blood pit this thing is kind of like an armor but it's an item then reduce damage by three and you can recharge using constitution and fortitude checks. So that is, uh, she gets two items, so she's done. She gets one item, so she's done. She gets one item, so she's done. She gets three items, th two, three items, two items, and two items. Well, I think Sage's journals are a no-brainer. Sage's journal, Sage's journal. It's probably a third Sage's journal. Yep. Sage's journal adds uh, to checks to defeat villains and henchmen. We'll give her the exploder. She gets two items that she's done. So we just need another three items. Okay, I'm going to give him the striding. Two, two. We need two more items. I don't really know what to get him. I'm going to give her the potion of striding. That means she's done. Now, he doesn't need the potion of striding because he's got that horse. So I guess I'm going to give him... I don't know what the last item to give him is. Yeah, I think we'll have to give him one of these codexes. I'll give him this one. This adds one die. Yeah. 
Okay, so we have two items, two items, three items. Th uh, he only gets two items. Two items, two items. Two items, two items. Three items, three items. One item, one item. One item, one item. And finally, the last one, we have Blessing. Uh, we have Allies. Okay, so there's a lot of really powerful allies, and one of them is these frogs. Discard this card to explore the location. If you encounter a bane that has the obstacle or trap trait during the exploration, you may bury this card to place the bane on the bottom of the deck. So this one here is basically a solve for those horrible ba barriers. Or most of them anyway. So I'm going to give them to our main attackers. They're all basics, remember. Now, learn we is an iconic one. It's owned by uh I do except the thing is she's also got learn as a as a cohort now I don't know the rules about having multiple cards with the same name but I'm going to say we can't use this uh, we can't use this version of learn but we have actually got quite a lot of non-basic allies here the starters some blendiferous hat is that's a balazar thing so let's get rid of that Massive is awesome. We can explore our we can explore our zones, but we can also draw cards with it. So, and it's also got an animal animal trait. So, I want to give her animal trait cards. Uh, we'll give her. What else have we got here? Demon hunter. Bam. We'll give that to Crow. No, we'll give it to Alan. He gets three allies. We'll give her a divine check helper. She has two allies. She gets one more ally. We'll give her the file frilled lizard. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, so retainer, give that to you. We'll also give you the He's got lowish he's got diplomacy. Oh, and recruits also add combat, so we'll have a recruit for you. A recruit for you. And I think we actually have more recruits in the main pool. Yep, there's one more recruit. So I'll give that to you. She gets two allies. She's got two. She gets one ally. She's got one. She gets two allies. She's got two. She gets no allies. No allies at all. Okay. <laughs> Three allies. Have I already given her a frog? So I'm gonna swap this for a frog. She got a frog. Guys, I'm gonna give her her that frog. frog we've got another spare recruit she's no good for recruits let's give her this we'll give her a recruit to there okay I think we're right he gets three allies so I'll give him the other recruit okay so I think that's right so we have three Three, 
three, three, none, two, two, one, one, and two, two. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay. Oh, and that's 16 because he's got the, uh, she's got the cohort and he's 16 because he's got the cohort. Okay, so that is our decks. We've finally gotten through all that. Whoa, what a, what a perilous journey. Okay, so let's just save those decks out. And create our deck pools. Now, the reason why I've got to do it this is because of all that stuff I was talking to about at the beginning of the of the uh, the thing. So basically, you know how when you start a fresh game, you draw the cut, the 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 deck pool, you know, the, the character bags? This basically just makes character bags. And that way, that way, uh, if you've, you know, added... You know, little ticks and you know if you've like leveled stuff up and you put ticks they'll, they'll also be saved so we'll just grab that grab that grab that grab that grab that and grab that and there we go that is now saved right that's it deck building is done so obviously that took a quite a long time it's uh, uh i'm going to try and have to figure out a better way to do these videos because that i mean unless you guys liked it let me, let me know what you think would you prefer me just to build the decks and then explain how they work or would you like to see the actual deck building process or maybe you want to see both i'm happy to do both because uh i mean it's up to you guys just let me know what you'd like and uh, it's a very long video, so if you actually sat through it, why don't you type a number in, maybe, let's say, eight. Type in eight to let me know if you actually watched the whole video, because <laughs> it was long. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.